I'm Captain Justin Leak, and I'm a full-time fishing guide right here in Panama City Beach. And through my career, I've been building this boat in my head, and it's finally come to fruition. And I had a concept to take an old classic hull like a 27 conch and put all these new technologies on it. So I want to take y'all from bow to stern over this entire build. And of course, it starts up here with the new Minn Kota Instinct. This is the latest and greatest trolling motor has ever been built. And you take everything you love about your current Minn Kota trolling motor, and this one does it better. It's quieter. It's more powerful. Your batteries are going to last way longer because it's more efficient. I mean, even the shaft has less flex to it. So when you're running, the head doesn't really bounce around much at all. So it's got all the same technologies you're used to, like spot lock. It integrates through my entire one boat network so I can control this trolling motor from multiple different remotes or from my screens anywhere on this boat. All right, so moving back in the boat, this is the inside of the console here. I have tons of storage, but the one thing I'm sure you're going to notice is I have a Sea Keeper 1 unit installed down here. This is my gyro stabilizer, so you can notice there's boat wakes coming through here right now, and we're not moving. Traditionally, if you installed a Sea Keeper on your boat, you would have to have the Sea Keeper screen display on your dash, you know, to control it. Not with this one. This one right here is networked through my Hummingbird Apex. This is what ties everything together. These Apex units, I can control anything on this boat. Right now, I can control my radio. I can come through here. Now I'm controlling my trolling motor. I can stow and deploy right here. Um, I can run my Sea Keeper. I can turn it on and off. I also have the Sea Keeper ride system on here, and I can control that from my screens right here. Anything on this boat that you see is part of the network, and it can all be controlled right here on these two units. So this is my second station tower, and this is really important for us, especially up here in the Panhandle. The water is really clear, and we do a lot of sight fishing. So being able to be in an elevated position like this allows me to see fish a lot better. And the best part about that is with one screen up here, I can still control everything on the boat. I can stow and deploy my trolling motor. I can see live information, sonar, radar, all that on my screen. I can even turn my radio up and down from my screen right here. So this just allows me to keep a really clean, simple dash, even up here in the tower, but I can still have control over everything on the boat. You know, being a versatile boat like this is, I do a lot of inshore and offshore stuff and I fish almost every day of the year. So I need to be able to navigate safely no matter what. And for me, that means having a good radar on the boat. And the chirp radar on this boat allows me to run in total darkness and know there's no obstructions in the way. It also allows me in a fog, rain, different weather conditions to not only see the weather and what's happening live on my screen, but be able to react to it and navigate safely in basically any conditions. I love this clean dash look like this, and it's almost as if Hummingbird built these screens for me to put two side by side on this dash.